Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. This week's What's For Dinner video is a collab with my friend Taylor Elmore. If you are over here from Taylor's channel, hello and welcome. My name is Casey and I try to upload a What's For Dinner video every week. And I also have other videos on my channel if you'd like to check those out. This is a clip from one of Taylor's What's For Dinner videos. Her What's For Dinner videos are my favorite. She also does really good detailed grocery hauls where she goes over her meal plan for the week and has all prices included in her grocery haul. Make sure to go over and check out her channel and let her know I sent you. And if you are over here from Taylor's channel, I'd love to know in the comment section below. Also, I will have a link to her channel and her video in the description box below. Now let's get into this video. So on Sunday, we had a Mediterranean style chicken couscous. The first thing I'm going to do is get my cherry tomatoes soaking in some cold water in my OXO salad spinner. If you stick around to the end, I will be doing a giveaway for an OXO salad spinner. I hear I'm just getting my green onions chopped up and put to the side. When I'm done with that, I'm just rinsing my tomatoes off and I'm going to cut all of those in half and get them put in a bowl to the side. I do add a little bit of garlic salt at this point because I just love the way it tastes. You don't have to do that. And now I'm gonna let my cilantro soak in some cold water to wash it really good. And I'm just gonna get the couscous started. I just follow the package directions for this. It'll depend on how much couscous you wanna make. Now that my cilantro is clean, I'm just going to spin it dry and get that chopped up. I do leave the stems on, but you don't have to do that. Whatever your preference is, if you want to take all the leaves off and chop that up, that's fine. But I choose to leave the stems on. Now I'm going to get a couple of tablespoons of olive oil started to cook the chicken in. Season the chicken with seasoning salt, onion powder, and garlic salt. And the couscous is done at this point, so I just fluff it with a fork and get it put into a big bowl and start adding all of the other stuff to it. I will have a link to this silicone fork in the description box below. I love it. You can use it in all of your pans. It doesn't do any damage to them. And you can use it for anything. It's great. I do use the juice of two limes, but if you do not like lime, you may want to use the juice of one and then give it a taste test and decide if you want to add the other. And I just add the chicken to it when it's done and here is the final product. I do serve mine with some olives on the side. On Monday night, we had another family favorite of meatballs and cream of mushroom gravy with mashed potatoes and green beans. I will put a link to this in the description box below. And on Tuesday, we had Taco Tuesday and chicken fajitas. What you will need for this is the chicken, the ground beef, fajita seasoning mix, and the taco seasoning mix. Refried beans for the side and Spanish rice. And of course, all of the toppings that you choose to put on yours. Uh, first, I'm just going to get the ground beef started for the taco meat, and then I'm going to get the chicken cut up for the chicken fajitas and get that marinating on the side. I use a package of fajita seasoning and about a tablespoon of olive oil, and I just get all of that stirred up to marinate and put it to the side. I'm going to add some onion and bell pepper to that as well, and then I will put it to the side. I just heat the refried beans up in a pot with a little bit of water. I'm going to add the taco seasoning to the ground beef and just follow the package instructions for that. Then I'm going to get my chicken with the fajita seasoning, bell peppers, and onions started cooking. And this is now my favorite Spanish rice, this Zatarans. I will say on this night, the canned tomato that I had was Rotel tomato, and I didn't realize that it was the hot can. 
so the rice was very spicy and I will not be making it like that again I'm just getting some green onions cut up because I love green onions on everything I got those tostada shells for my daughter and I my daughter loves tostadas and that is a can of queso cheese sauce in the back heating up and cut up some tomato for our toppings And there is our taco meat done, the refried beans, tostada shells, the rice, and the cheese sauce. We have some Frito chips, salsa, sour cream, cheese, and lettuce mixture. This is my plate. I have a beef bean and cheese tostada, a chicken fajita soft taco, and some rice on the side. On Wednesday we had another family favorite which is chicken cacciatore you will need the chicken white rice bell pepper canned tomato and the dry package seasoning of Italian mix and we serve ours with salad on the side so you're just gonna get your chicken cut up and cook him with your bell pepper and add the Italian seasoning and once you get that stirred around a little, you will add your canned tomato. I had two cans out for this, but I ended up only adding one of the cans of tomato. If you do add two cans of tomato, you probably need to add two of the packages of Italian. You just wanna let that cook about 15 or 20 minutes while your rice cooks. Then when you're ready to serve it, we just serve it on top of rice and have a salad on the side. Sometimes we'll also have crescent rolls on the side. And on Thursday, I wanted to do a baked potato bar. These potatoes are absolutely huge. I don't know if you can tell by me putting my hand by them, but they were huge. I'm also going to put some corn on the cob on the gas grill. And now I'm just gonna get the potatoes washed really good and then I'm gonna put them in my Instant Pot high pressure with a cup of water for 20 minutes. And I did get two different types of canned chili. My daughter doesn't eat meat so one of them is vegetarian. And I'm just going to get the corn washed up and then put into some foil with a little bit of butter and salt before I put them on the grill. Now that the potatoes are done, I'm just going to split mine open, mash the potato a little, and I'm going to add some salt and pepper and butter, some cheese, and I love this packaged potato toppings. I'll also add some ranch, and then I will add some chili. You can play around with this and have out all kinds of good things to put on the potatoes. I don't like sour cream, but of course we did put sour cream on some of them. And on Friday we did steak fajita spinach wraps. And I cooked some more of that Zatarain's Spanish rice, but I used a different type of tomato instead of the Rotel. Once again, two different types of refried beans. And first I'm just gonna get the steak washed and cleaned and put in a bowl with a couple of tablespoons of olive oil and the fajita seasoning mix. 
and I'm gonna set that to the side until I get ready to cook it while I get the rice started and I just follow the package directions on the rice and here are my beautiful bell peppers and onion that's my daughter's refried beans and then ours is back there in the back and the rice is done and I've got some bell pepper and onion for my daughter on the side and then our steak and bell peppers and onions in the fajita seasoning is also done so i'm just going to get this put together i've got some of the steak fajita mix with rice and beans and some cheese and i'm just going to get it wrapped up and i do cut it in half to serve and i ate it with a little bit more of the rice and beans On Saturday, I cooked a big pot of chili in the Instant Pot. I know chili is not very favored right now because it is summertime, but we had a funeral the day before. My mama's brother passed away, and I was cooking for any of the family that was going to be coming by in case they wanted to eat. This is double the recipe I normally use. This is two cans of chili beans, one can of light red kidney beans, a can of pinto beans, two cans of tomatoes, a can of tomato paste, and two packages of McCormick's chili seasoning, and a little over a pound of ground beef. So the first thing I do is saute the ground beef until it's done, and then I drain it. Add the onions, and I just seasoned it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Once the ground beef is done, I just start adding all of the cans and I don't drain anything because I like the flavor from all of them. I add the two packages of taco seasoning first to mix that around with the ground beef and onions because I just feel like it flavors the meat better. And then I just add all of the cans to it. And I end up cooking this on high pressure for 10 minutes and then I let it do a natural release for five minutes. I serve mine with tortilla chips and pickles and a little cheese in mine because I don't like sour cream, but everybody else, of course, had cheese and sour cream. I found these little cornbread crisp at Publix and I wanted to try those in it and they were really good, actually. That's going to wrap up this week's What's for Dinner video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to go over and check out Taylor's channel. And if you are over here from Taylor's channel, thank you so much for watching. And stay tuned for a special giveaway. If you have made it this far into the video, thank you. I appreciate you sticking around. And I did want to announce I'm going to be doing a 1,000 subscriber giveaway and I'm going to be giving away this new OXO salad spinner. So if you do decide to stick around and subscribe to my channel, just put hashtag OXO in the comment section below. And then once I reach 1000 subscribers, I will put everybody's name from this video in for a chance to win. And if you don't know what an OXO salad spinner is, it is much more than just to clean lettuce or salad mix. I use it for to clean all of my produce when I meal prep. So just make sure if you plan on sticking around and subscribing to my channel that you put hashtag OXO in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell beside it so that you don't miss any of my future videos. <laughs>